ready to dive deeper into the mysteries of the Book of Revelation? In this captivating sequel to our previous discussion, we'll unravel the enigmatic messages to the churches of Philadelphia and Laodicea, soar into the heavenly realms with John's vision of God's majestic throne, and witness the unfolding of the apocalyptic judgments with the opening of the seven seals. Get ready for an illuminating journey through the sacred text as we decode its symbolic language and uncover profound truths about the end times. Messages to the Churches Let's begin by exploring the poignant messages delivered to the churches of Philadelphia and Laodicea. In a world fraught with spiritual challenges, the Philadelphia Church stands out for its unwavering faithfulness and perseverance in the face of adversity. Christ's commendation of their steadfastness serves as a beacon of encouragement for believers today, urging us to remain faithful in our own walk with God. On the contrary, the Laodicean Church receives a stern rebuke for its lukewarmness and spiritual complacency. Their tepid commitment and self-sufficiency evoke a sobering warning about the dangers of spiritual apathy. As we reflect on these messages, let us heed the call to wholehearted devotion and reliance on God's strength for the journey ahead. Vision of God's Throne Prepare to be transported into the heavenly realm as we delve into John's awe-inspiring vision of God's majestic throne. Like prophets before him, John encounters the sublime glory of the Almighty, surrounded by myriads of angelic beings and elders casting their crowns before him in worship. The vivid imagery of this celestial scene captivates the senses, with radiant colors, resounding hymns, and the sweet fragrance of incense filling the air. Drawing parallels with similar visions in the Old Testament, such as Isaiah's encounter in the temple and Ezekiel's vision of the divine chariot, we gain a deeper understanding of the eternal majesty and sovereignty of our Creator. Let us join in the heavenly chorus, exalting the King of kings and Lord of lords in reverent adoration. Opening of the Seven Seals As we journey deeper into the heart of Revelation, we encounter the profound symbolism of the scroll with seven seals, held in the hand of God Himself. With each seal broken, a cascade of judgments is unleashed upon the earth, heralding the onset of the Great Tribulation. From the ravages of war and famine to the chilling specter of death itself, these cataclysmic events underscore the gravity of human rebellion and the righteous judgment of God. The symbolic imagery of the four horsemen galloping forth brings to life the harbingers of destruction, signaling the dire consequences of sin and disobedience. As we contemplate these sobering truths, let us heed the call to repentance and seek refuge in the mercy of our Savior. The Seven Trumpets The crescendo of apocalyptic judgments continues with the introduction of the seven trumpets, each heralding a new calamity upon the earth. From hail and fire raining down from heaven to a star named Wormwood poisoning the waters, these trumpet blasts unleash devastation upon the natural world and humanity alike. With each blast, the intensity of God's righteous wrath is felt, shaking the foundations of creation and calling forth repentance from a rebellious world. As we confront the sobering reality of these trumpet judgments, let us humble ourselves before the Almighty and turn from our wicked ways, seeking His mercy and forgiveness before the final trumpet sounds. Stay tuned for the next installment of our exploration into the Book of Revelation, where we'll delve deeper into its prophetic mysteries and uncover the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Don't miss out on this transformative journey through the pages of Scripture, as we unlock the secrets of the end times and prepare our hearts for the glorious return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Seven Bowls of Wrath As we delve deeper into the apocalyptic narrative of Revelation, our attention turns to the final series of judgments, the Seven Bowls of God's Wrath. With each bowl poured out upon the earth, we witness the culmination of divine judgment, unleashing unprecedented devastation and calamity. From painful sores afflicting those who worship the beast to the seas turning to blood and scorching heat scorching humanity, these plagues serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of rebellion against God. As we navigate through these harrowing visions, let us not lose sight of the underlying message of hope and redemption, even amidst the darkest of times. The Fall of Babylon? One of the most enigmatic figures in the Book of Revelation is the symbolic entity known as Babylon the Great. Representing the epitome of human pride, wealth, and power, Babylon embodies the corrupt systems and values of the world that stand in opposition to God's kingdom. As we witness the fall of Babylon, we are confronted with the sobering reality of the transitory nature of earthly empires and the ultimate triumph of God's righteousness. Through its destruction, Babylon serves as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of human achievements and the enduring sovereignty of our Creator. The Millennial Reign of Christ Amidst the chaos and destruction of the tribulation period, Revelation offers a glimmer of hope in the promise of Christ's millennial reign. 
For a thousand years, Christ will rule and reign on earth, ushering in an era of peace, justice, and righteousness. The defeat of Satan and the establishment of Christ's kingdom herald a new chapter in human history, where every tear will be wiped away, and every injustice will be made right. As we anticipate the dawn of this glorious age, let us fix our eyes on the hope of Christ's return and the restoration of all things. The new heaven and new earth. The grand finale of Revelation unveils the breathtaking vision of the new heaven and new earth, where God's eternal kingdom will reign in splendor and majesty. As John beholds the holy city, the new Jerusalem, descending from heaven adorned as a bride for her husband, we are invited to glimpse the beauty and wonder of God's ultimate redemption plan. In this new creation, there will be no more death, mourning, or pain, for the former things have passed away. As we eagerly await the fulfillment of this glorious promise, let us live with anticipation and hope, knowing that the best is yet to come. The Eternal Victory of God In the climactic culmination of all things, Revelation paints a vivid picture of the ultimate triumph of God over evil and the establishment of His eternal kingdom. As the forces of darkness are defeated and Satan is cast into the lake of fire, we bear witness to the final victory of righteousness and the vindication of God's sovereignty. The imagery of the new heaven and new earth resounds with the promise of restoration and renewal, where God will dwell with his people, and they will be his own. In this moment of divine consummation, all creation joins in a chorus of praise and adoration, declaring the glory and majesty of the Almighty God. Invitation to Salvation Amidst the prophetic visions and apocalyptic judgments, Revelation extends a timeless invitation to all who will hear, Come! This invitation echoes throughout the ages, calling humanity to repentance, faith, and salvation in Christ. As we contemplate the weighty themes of judgment and redemption, let us heed the call to turn to God, seeking forgiveness and reconciliation through His Son, Jesus Christ. For in Him alone is found the hope of eternal life and the promise of redemption for all who believe. May we respond to this invitation with hearts of humility and faith, embracing the gift of salvation offered to us freely by God's grace. The final Amen. As we reach the conclusion of our journey through the book of Revelation, let us pause to reflect on the profound truths and eternal mysteries it contains. From the prophetic warnings to the glorious visions of God's kingdom, Revelation invites us to ponder the depths of divine wisdom and the unfathomable love of our Creator. As we bid farewell to this sacred text, let us do so with hearts full of reverence and awe, knowing that its message resounds throughout eternity. May the words of Revelation continue to inspire and guide us in our walk of faith, until the day when we stand before the throne of God and join in the chorus of the redeemed, singing praises to Him who is worthy forever and ever. Amen. Conclusion and Call to Action As we conclude our exploration of the book of Revelation, we are left with a profound sense of awe and wonder at the divine mysteries it unveils. From the cosmic battles between good and evil to the promise of God's ultimate victory, Revelation challenges us to contemplate the grandeur of God's plan for humanity. But beyond mere contemplation, we are called to action. The truths revealed in Revelation compel us to live lives of faithfulness, perseverance, and obedience to God's word. We are called to be faithful witnesses, proclaiming the gospel message to a world in need of hope and redemption. Let us not shrink back in fear or complacency, but let us rise up with courage and conviction, knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. As we await the glorious return of our Savior, let us press on in faith, hope, and love, until the day when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.